All right, in the uh, conversation of beat up tech, let's talk some Intel. Alan Nuckman joins the Chief Market Strategist, BullseyeOption.com. Looking at Intel, so we know you like to pick laggards that would right. that look promising to join their peers, but boy, you're going for like the laggard of the year here, Alan. It's about risk reward, my friend. Some stocks are hot, some stocks are not. But we're seeing a summer melt up, obviously, in the market. So you've got to be more selective. And uh, I really, really like the way this is set up technically for so many reasons. Okay, tell me about it. Uh, I mean, at least it's held the 52 week low, right? I mean, that's like starting point. Well, yeah, starting point here is that it's down 40%. So the risk reward in year to date. So again, we're, we're what in June? So that's halfway through the year where the NDX is up 12% over this same period of time. So the risk reward is here and it's been trading sideways here and, and consolidating. Now in the big picture, it's been between 30 and 50 for the year. Uh, so 30 is a super support. Um, and so lately it's been trading here between 30 and 32, a break out of that range. Target's 34, there's a gap up above at 34, and there's another gap at 42. But more importantly for me are my indicators. And I'm seeing this bullish divergence in the fact that it made new lows, but not new highs implied volatility. Now, how many times have I told you that's a sign of a sentiment shift? And being a bull market genius, that seemed to come true over and over and over again. But more importantly, it's also got the money flow going into it. You're seeing option accumulation, you're seeing leverage accumulation on the long side in this stock. And uh, I like how it's set up. Okay. Uh, so when you uh, have a chart as crushed as Intel, you know, the upside looks like it could, you know, uh, the, the dream is alive. Uh, uh, but so then how do you know kind of when to go, all right, that's a good enough bounce. Let me get out of here. Because uh, anytime this thing has gotten any kind of bid, it's looked a few times like it's coming back into the fold. Right. And then it gets sold right back off. Well, again, it's the way I play. So a modest move in the underlying, a modest move in the stock would produce big gains in the right option. Now, if you look for the last 10 years, 25 is a super support. That's the bottom over the last decade. So I'm looking at the 25 call for January. Your guys had to double check that I was going with the January option. Yes, it's a January option, seven months of time. The September option is only $75 cheaper, so why not buy the time, even if I may not need it? So it's setting myself up for success, giving myself plenty of time for this stock to make a comeback, and I always use that bullish divergence. The volatility on this stock is essentially down at the year low, even though the stock's at the year low. So that may, means that the options are cheaper in relative terms, and that's a healthy sign of a sentiment shift. Any short covering here can get this stock on the move, and a move to the 40 level, which is the halfway point of the year's action, uh, a move to that 40 level, these options gain 100%. All right, so uh, going in the money by five bucks, yep. uh, which gives you a little- More than five bucks, almost $6, my friend. Uh, depends yeah. on where we are right now. Uh, we're about 30, 50. Uh, all right, so you're in, <laughs> you're in the money uh, and uh, you're, you're buying a hold. And I mean, Jan, you got plenty of time on this. So this is like a second half little comeback trade. Right, and the idea here is even if the stock does nothing for the next three months, you can see where the September is trading. You know, what this option would depreciate seventy five dollars. So it's a, it's it's a way to be in position, a way to identify the bottom with that bullish divergence, that sentiment shift, and we've seen that over and over again. You know, let's just go back to something. You know, like pick a Baba. Nobody loved Baba. It made that same bottoming, and that's the sign that the fear has lessened. And that uh, the shorts are running out, running out of strength. I'm seeing that same thing here. Now, this may not be the exact bottom, but guess what? I've got seven months of time uh, to be there with a limited risk position. That uh, that allows me to sleep well. All right. Uh, where do you cut your losses if it makes a new low? Well, with any option, uh, you can put in a stop loss of at half of what you pay because mathematically, that's oftentimes uh, either the market's gone the other way or you're running out of time. Time is not part of this equation, so. You know, uh, again, 25 for me is a super, super support level. I'm just gonna see where we are in the next three months, and then use a time, use time to make the decision uh, if we haven't seen the move. Because again, we're five dollars in the money. It's like being long from 25. Okay, there it is, Alan Nuckman with the bullish Intel trade. All right, you're wading into the waters on this one because uh, this has been the most hated stock. So this is how to do it. I love being hated. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. I'll give you big props <laughs> if it hits. Uh, thanks, Alan. All right. Chief Market Strategist, BullseyeOption.com. All right, we'll keep talking some tech when we come back. And still in a theme of 